Welcome to the 10 Jaw Dropping Facts channel today we will discuss the 10 mid journey tips on becoming a master artificial intelligent artist. We know AI is the future, so we want to give you the tips you need to go to the next level. Number 10. Be concise. There are actually two separate parts to this particular tip. First of all, you should understand that whenever your prompt is vague or leaves room for interpretation, mid-journey will start to get creative. In other words, if you wanted to create something very specific then you should be specific in your prompt. That being said, you should also avoid adding too many minute details to your prompts. If you try to describe an entire scene down to the very last detail, it will most likely overwhelm the AI. Your images will usually become worse, not better. Number 9. Positive Statements. It's usually a good idea to avoid negative statements in your prompts. When I say negative, I'm not referring to the attitude or mood of the prompt, but rather its syntax. In other words, you should describe things in an explicit and direct way, rather than indirectly. Number 8. Use styles and mediums. Next up on our list of mid-journey tips is the use of styles and mediums. Describing objects or a scene is only part of the prompt and if you don't add anything else, mid-journey will decide for itself which style it should use. However, picking a specific style is a critical part of prompting and has a massive influence on how your images will look. This is particularly important if you have a very specific theme in mind. The same applies to the actual medium. If you want mid-journey to create images that look like sketches, then that should go into your prompt. Watercolors, oil paintings, or sculptures are just a few examples of what you could use. Number 7. Concept Crossovers. Not all of these mid-journey tips can necessarily be used at the same time. The previous tips on this list were meant to show you how you can exert more control over the images you create. However, our next tip is for everyone who likes to experiment. Some of the most exciting images are the result of combining two well-defined, but distinctly different concepts. Number 6. Use lighting. Number 6 on our list of mid-journey tips is our secret weapon. Most people completely ignore lighting in their prompts and leave everything up to the AI model. However, just like in regular art and cinema, lighting plays an incredibly important role. If you want a scene to take place in bright daylight, then say so. If you want to add a dramatic effect to your scene, then adding cinematic lighting to your prompt can work wonders. Light, in all its shapes and forms, can make or break an image. Number 5. Use Seeds and Remix Mode. Among all of our mid-journey tips, this one probably has the biggest game-changer potential. One of the bigger drawbacks of mid-journey is the fact that it does not support editing features such as in painting, though you can technically still in paint mid-journey images with the help of external tools. Every generation will usually produce a slightly different variation of your prompt's concept, making it very difficult to maintain a specific composition. One way of solving this during the explorative phase of your prompts is to set a specific seed value. This will eliminate most of the randomness in your image generations and your variations will look a lot more similar. Once you've identified a variation that you really like, you can continue to build on top of it by using Remix Mode. Remix Mode will then allow you to add or remove elements by changing up your prompt but still maintain the core composition and style of your chosen image. Number 4. Aspect Ratio. For some reason, all AI art generators produce square images by default. While that's fine when you're just experimenting and trying to find the right style, square images are boring and therefore useless for upscales. Luckily, Midjourney has an aspect ratio parameter that allows you to specify whatever ratio you want, within reason. So, if you're working on a portrait, then you'll want to use AR2 3 to generate an image in portrait format. Alternatively, if you're looking for more of a dramatic effect, you can use AR16 9 to get something that resembles a cinematic format. Number 3. Combine Images. One of the greatest new features to come out of Midjourney's latest V4 algorithm is much better image prompt support. While previously image prompts were mostly limited to serving as an aspirational target in prompts, they now have a much bigger impact on the final image. In fact, you can literally add two image prompts and not add any additional text and Midjourney will simply combine both of them to create something new. 
So imagine you have a sample image of a very specific composition or concept that you want to recreate and you want the main character to look like a famous person. You could take that image and add a portrait of Elon Musk and Mid Journey would produce an image of Elon Musk or someone with similar facial features doing something that's in line with the composition. This is one of my favorite Mid Journey tips because it eliminates the need for overly complex text prompts. Number 2. Steal from the Masters. I think we all agree that we shouldn't steal from other people, however, Mid Journey's whole philosophy is about open collaboration. It is actively encouraged to seek inspiration from other, more advanced, members of the community. In fact, Mid Journey's web app has lots of features that you'll be familiar with from social media platforms. You can follow your favorite artists, create custom feeds, and see the exact prompts that others use to create their images. So I wouldn't necessarily call it stealing. Instead, you're learning how to use Mid Journey by trying to replicate what others have already done. Number 1. Custom Options. The final entry in our list of Mid Journey tips is about creating custom options. As you may have noticed, entering tons of parameters can be quite annoying and time consuming. One way of avoiding this is to change your default settings in Mid Journey. However, the settings panel only covers a small selection of its parameters and you might want to use different types of preset combinations in different situations. And that's exactly what custom Mid Journey options were made for. You can create your very own shortcuts by setting them up with the slash prefer option set command. Now, every time you invoke the widescreen option, the parameters AR16 colon 9 V4 will automatically be added to your prompt. How do I get the best out of Mid Journey? To get the most out of Mid Journey in terms of quality and style, we highly recommend that you start using V4 of the algorithm and learn how to use remix mode effectively. Please comment below what made you want to learn Mid Journey and why. Do not forget to subscribe to the Top 10 Jaw Dropping Facts channel. And new episodes release every Monday through Friday.